so I have two days Saturday and Sunday to study for my exams to study for all of the subjects because we have two exams in one day so in three days we will be done with all of our exams today I'm going to study DSF because I haven't covered a lot of it already and the first exam is DSF and operating system so I'm done with operating system I will revise it tomorrow along with that I will also study Java tomorrow because I haven't done much of that as well today is full day data structure and file operations let's start First of all, I started by going through each and every topic that we have for exam and listing them all down so that I will know that which all topics I need to put more time into and which all topics I have studied well before so that I can just quickly revise them. Once I was done with that, I started studying the first chapter of data structure. Whenever there is no college and I'm at home and I need to get a lot of work done, this is what my daily routine looks like. I sleep throughout the morning. I wake up extremely late around 11, 12 or 1 p.m. And then throughout the afternoon, I study for four to six hours till it is evening. And I take small, small breaks after each hour, but I get a lot of work done in this time block. Then once it is evening, I go to the gym, I work out, I have my dinner and then it is night time. In the night, I study for the next three to five hours depending on, you know, how much I can study more. And this is one of the most productive time blocks of the day because I'm much more focused at night as compared to any other time of the day. I sleep pretty late around 2 or 3 a.m. and then I wake up late again the next morning. This is still a productive routine even though I'm not waking up at 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. because it does not work for me. What works for me is studying at night and that is my preference and it is still productive to not wake up early in the morning and still getting your work done and sleeping enough. This was Sunday, a day before the exam. I was done with enough of data structure, so I switched on to operating system and I started revising everything from my lecture notes, the lecture slides that the teacher has provided, and I was just, you know, making some rough notes that I literally always do. Okay, so the exams today, they went so good. They were amazing. And last night I just slept for three hours, so I wasn't feeling well in the morning. I was like, will I be able to give the exams? But everything was good and the exams went well. But the thing is that I just have six hours now to study for the next two exams. It is currently 9 p.m. and I have I can study till 3 a.m. So these six hours I have to study security and DBMS. I have completed a good amount of security already, but I have not started DBMS at all. So first I will complete security and then we will see what we can do with DBMS. After coming back from the college, I slept for around two hours. I had my dinner, but I was still having some headache because that just always happens when, you know, the sleep is messed up. That's why I made myself some tea because having something warm always helps with my headaches. Uh, and having a coffee at this time would mess up my full system. That's why that's not, not I'm not going to do that. 
for a subject like security wherein we had to take in the content from multiple sources and there was so much that we had to study so the best way to study these subjects is to focus on the smaller parts and the smaller and the most important topics because if you know the 80-20 rule which basically means that there is 20% of the chapter which is the most important from which 80% of the questions are going to be formed and which is so true because when there are multiple topics you just need to focus on the most important ones and trust me the questions will be from those topics only and that is what happened in each and every exam and that is what my main focus was to just cover up the important topics because that is very obvious at what are the questions going to be when you know that 20% of the important part. It is 1 a.m. right now and it feels like I'm pushing myself too much at this point because my my brain like hurts and I I feel sick right now and if I continue with this I I'm gonna get sick I just know it so I've completed 95% of security but I have not started with the VMS and I don't know what we have in the VMS I'm going to, you know, deal with it later. I will sleep now. I will wake up at 6.30 and complete the security part and do DBMS. I will go to the college at 10, study for some time in the library. And we have the exam at 12 to 2. We have both the exams. I don't know how other students are doing this because this is literally dangerous like how am i supposed to study so much for two subjects just in few hours i don't like this at all It is almost 12 right now and tomorrow I have Java the last exam I'm so excited I'm really energized right now because of the coffee but yes so we have the two chapters the first one I'm done with 70% of it of that and the second one is inheritance and we already had inheritance in the last semester so I just have to go through the types of it again and you know the basic programs of it that is all and complete this 30 person then I will be done and then I'll revise the full thing again. I haven't washed my hair in like 10 days because I was supposed to wash it on Sunday. But on Sunday, I had so much to cover up, so much syllabus to cover up for the Monday's exam. I didn't wash it and this is the second week I haven't washed it. So it's been like almost 10 to 12 days. That's why I've tied my hair all throughout this video. Because if I open them, they are so greasy. Alright, I'll continue.